Hello, everybody. I am John Kramer, the director of the Oconomowoc Art Center, and I would love to welcome you to this significant event. We are here in the Imagine a Day Art Gallery with our new historical display celebrating the arts in Oconomowoc. The OAC opened in 2008 and has been serving the district and the community ever since with a wide variety of entertainment. We are proud of the rich artistic heritage in Lake Country and thrilled that we have plans to display the newly, fully restored Chatfield instruments in our lobby. Come visit us anytime and experience all that we have to offer. And now, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Roberta Carpenter. Thanks, John. The Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra has enjoyed a long rapport with you with the Oconomowoc Art Center, with the Oconomowoc Area School District, and the Imagine Day Art Gallery. What you'll see on the wall is something that is the result of over a year and a half of visioning, designing, and assembling of materials. And it really represents over a decade of history of the Art Center, the Imagine Day Art Gallery, and the OCO. I'm happy to share this with you. Let's go take a look. This is the Imagine Day Art Gallery. We're, it's a youth art gallery, and it is in tribute to Courtney Bella. There's a Courtney Bella Foundation, which is now the Imagine a Day Foundation, which is inspired by her beautiful poem that we find on the wall over here. Um, Courtney Bella wrote this, and unfortunately, her life was came to a close way sooner than it should. But she left with us a very inspiring poem that it exists in its own right, and you're going to see in a moment, it's also in one of the pieces that the OCO had commissioned. So our thanks to the Imagine a Day Foundation and Brad Bella for his support of this art gallery, and the art gallery has displays, which I'll let John tell you about. So the, the art gallery is one of my favorite things about this whole facility. The intention behind this specific display is for student artists to be able to present their works. So we have students from the district, of course, from the high school and the intermediate schools and even the elementary schools that bring their art to display here in the gallery. We also open it up to students from the community with artists from Don Alexa and from ACAP and other organizations throughout the community. It really is an inspiring and beautiful part of the facility. And now we have our brand new design and display of sig historical significance. We do, and you know, in the core of this, in the very center of it, is the, the theme of the fanfare for Lake Country. We see the music, and that actually began this journey. This wall represents the history of the Oconomowoc Art Center, it represents the history of the Imagine Day Art Gallery, and of the Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra, all dating about a decade ago. Uh, but the Fanfare for Lake Country was a piece that was written and dedicated for us on the orchestra's debut concert, and it represents our theme. Since then, we've had instrumental arrangements and stringed arrangements, and it is available to every musical person in our community and abroad, uh, you know, in a, in a larger sense, because it's short, medium, long, and is written now for all instruments. Uh, it's been recorded and it's on YouTube, and the sheet music is available, um, also different ensembles. So we have the home, the new home of the Chatfield Instrument. Um, this will be the historical information about the instruments, and John will tell us a little bit more. But we also have um, the uh, American Prize Award uh, that the orchestra received in 2012. Uh, we show the debut concert. This is, actually this is the debut concert. These are the instrumental arrangements. The orchestra and I received the honor to be able to record those on a Stradivarius instrument. And so it tells a little bit about having a Stradivarius, not only in our debut concert with Rima Sushkinskaya, but also our theme recorded for us on a Stradivarius is unusual. This piece was premiered with the Silver Lake Singers and the Oconomowoc Community Choir, along with the Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra. And Brian also wrote variations on fanfare, which is for string orchestra or string quartet. That matters because that piece was what was um, released and debuted at the time that the Chatfield Instruments came out of a three-year restoration project. So that piece was written for the Chatfield Instruments, and we have a photo here. You can see the uh, program that was written. And I have to say, none of what the Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra does, and uh, we as a 
public arts institution, meaning the Oklahoma Arts Center or the schools, could do without the support of our community uh, support team. The Oklahoma Chamber Orchestra is grateful to do this outreach, and we have a, uh, a plaque here and a board that recognizes uh, businesses and people in our community that continue to uh, support the arts and helped us in this very specific uh, project. And now to John to tell us a little bit about this case and what will go in it. So this case is the original case that the chaplain instruments were kept in uh, when they were originally given to the school and they were used by students of the school. But of course they're old and they started to fall apart. And so we went through a fundraising effort to raise the funds to restore these magnificent instruments. And now the old case is not appropriate to keep the new instruments in because it's not uh, a good uh, storage facility for the instruments, but we are going to have information in the case that explains the history of the instruments and the restoration. This case that we have is actually Rosewood case. It was uh, created by Frank S. Chatfield to house the uh, Chatfield instruments originally. It sat in the orchestra room for many years, and there's a photo here actually of the instruments in the case, but it, it is his original work and it had a glass printed doors. Right now we're looking for a humidification and to make sure that the instruments are uh, properly cared for over time and also secured. And so this case will have memorabilia from Mr. Chatfield, which includes some of the wood of, that was actually from the Lac La Belle area. We have some of his tools. We have a signed book about violin making from Mr. Chatfield and also the history. There'll be a poster board with information about the instruments and the restoration project. Uh, there's a photo here of Scott Slider doing the restoration, uh, but there'll be all sorts of things that uh, John and his team are working to put in this case about the instruments. The Chatfield instruments have been restored to playable condition, however, they are an ongoing project in that they will continue to need maintenance and there is further restoration that can be done on the project. The Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra partners with the Oconomowoc Arts Center in that. If you would like to support the Chatfield Award and the Chatfield Project, you can make a donation to the Oconomowoc Chamber Orchestra. We will donate uh, part of those proceeds to the Arts Center to support the Chatfield uh, Instruments. Also, the Oconomowoc um, Arts Center welcomes uh, funding to uh, provide the humidified case and to keep maintaining these instruments, which are a local treasure. entryway doors to the performing hall, and we have the chapter of award sign here. This sign now is has a number of honorees, and um, the history of the Arts Center can be found in um, the development not only of the Arts Center itself, but Arts in Oconomowoc in the tribute videos that are done for each of the Chatfield Award recipients. On YouTube, you can look up OCO, uh, Chatfield Award, and you'll see a number of these come up. Uh, we have Tom Snyder, Dave and Betty Royal, Mr. Robert Ignashek, Mr. Frederick Schwartz, and the Oconomowoc Festival of the Arts organization. Each is represented in a video on YouTube. 
it has the history of the building of the art center and you go backstage to the green room to the artwork and the sculptures that are out front so i hope you enjoy that i'd like to acknowledge scott slider who did the work on these instruments scott has been in this area for a long time and he brings an integrity and a, and a stellar nature to his work and he brought these instruments from being absolutely unplayable and apart to a beautiful match string quartet that we enjoy in our community today. So our hats off to Scott for the work he did. And John, there was something that was still go in this corner. You want to yes. tell us about that? So we're very excited about the next part of the display plan. We're going to be uh, building a uh, humidified case, display case, for the four Chatfield instruments, which are so beautiful to look at. And they're going to be stored here for patrons of the arts to be able to, to view. But they're also going to be available for students in the district to be able to play during concert time. So we'll take very good care of them and bring them out to play them every now and then. And including playing uh, musicians from the OCO will also be allowed to play them. It's going to be really fantastic. In close, I'd just like to thank John, thank the Art Center, thank Max and Rose and, and Ken of the Signorama team, uh, and the OCO Board of Directors, as well as Brad Bella. All the visioning that went uh, into this project is enormous, and we're here, we've seen it, we did it, and there's more to come. So John, good to see you in the hall after too, this, uh, this big uh, several month uh, closure, but it's good <laughs> to be here and have things to share. Take care and every best to the Art Center. Thank you, same to you. The arts are alive and well right here at the Oconomowoc Art Center. When you enter this amazing facility, the Imagine a Day Art Gallery is to your left, and the Chatfield Award sign is to your right. The Chatfield Instrument Display Case will be joining the sign soon. The OAC is continuing the incredible tradition of presenting vibrant performance and visual arts inspired by decades of artistic excellence throughout Lake Country. You can learn all about it right here in our lobby or by watching amazing tribute videos available online. Thank you.